So what's up guys, so I'm here to do another movie review and this time I'm going to be doing this review for Movie Club Strikes Back and I will put their link up here as I always do so you guys can click on it. It's a collaborative effort I have with a bunch of different movie clubbers from SourceFed and Philip DeFranco. We all kind of just got together and did our own thing. This is like my first review for them so I'm like okay pretty far behind. I needed to put in my dues before I can like do my pick. So let's get right into the movie. This movie stars Aaron Eckhart and he's a tobacco lobbyist, hence why it's called Thank You for Smoking. His whole job is to make tobacco seem not so bad. He kind of just puts a spin on things to say, hey, tobacco is not that bad of a thing. I mean, obviously we wouldn't want this little kid to die because we don't want to lose a customer. And that's just the beginning scene. His job is to pretty much get these people on his side and that's what he does. And it's funny because it's one of those movies where Aaron Eckhart is the bad guy. Aaron Eckhart is the guy you're not supposed to like in real life. But he's just so charming and he's just so charismatic. You are like, wow, this guy's awesome. I would want to hang out with this guy. He seems like a really cool dude. So if you can't tell, this movie's a big, big satire. It kind of makes fun of everybody. And this is like Jason Reitman's first feature film. The guy who did Up in the Air. He kind of likes to take people who have really terrible professions, pretty much. Like tobacco lobbyists or a guy that fires people. Like George Clooney and Up in the Air. And he puts him in these situations where he has to like figure out what they're going to do. And... It comes off funny even though you're like god these guys are douchebags and you kind of want to hate them but you see that they're people too it's the point but let's go back to the story like i said aaron eckhart's job is to spin the story spin tobacco and make it seem not so bad even though he knows what he does is actually bad i mean he even has his mod squad with uh keckner and maria bello and they're like alcohol tobacco and firearms they're like one of the top three things in the world that's killing us well in the united states at least that's killing us and they get together and they kind of laugh about how many people are getting killed or how they're trying to like get around people or deceive them, if you will. Do they do it just for fun? Do they actually really want to kill people? I don't think so. I think they're just are really good at their job. They just have fun doing that and they make money off of it. We kind of get to see a little bit more of his background in the tobacco industry, like when he's trying to really get smoking into movies and stuff. And he talks about Brad Pitt and Catherine Zeta-Jones smoking a cigarette in space. And you don't see smoking nowadays. Smoking is very, very taboo now. So it's funny that this movie doesn't have any smoking, yet it's like putting pressure on, hey, let's try to get these guys to smoke. And there are certain scenes in the movie where Aaron Eckhart's like looking for a cigarette, looking for something to smoke, and he can't. Another aspect of this movie I really like that they focus on is Aaron Eckhart and his kid. That's pretty interesting because you see how his kid is at the beginning, like, dad, don't embarrass me in class. And then throughout the movie, he's like slowly becoming his dad. His dad is teaching him the ways. I don't want to say he's grooming him to become a tobacco lobbyist, but he's definitely teach him how to debate and how to like really get his point across and pretty much make yourself sound right every single time. And that's a crucial aspect of this movie. It's like him and his relationship with his kid. And then of course him and his relationship with the tobacco company and then everybody else and what they think of the tobacco industry. And like I said, the perception of the tobacco industry is not good. We already know this. And Katie Holmes comes in to interview him and she's pretty much the hot, sexy one that has to like get the information out of Aaron Eckhart. And we don't know that till later on, but she's pretty much in there. She's like, I'll do anything to get the story. I'll do anything to get my job done. It's a chick and she's hot, so of course he's gonna bang her. And then he accidentally spills some secrets. And because of that, there's obvious backlash from not only the, the tobacco industry itself, but from the Mod Squad and his friends. And it's no wonder that Harvey didn't want to kill her in the Dark Knight. Too bad they recasted her as Maggie Gyllenhaal. And from that, we have to go to his biggest rival in this whole movie, William H. Macy. Oh, I love William H. Macy. And in this, he does a great job. He pretty much is completely against tobacco and he shows what he wants to do. And it's put a big skull and crossbones on the carton so people won't want to buy them. William H. Macy is like a politician who's like, pretty much waging war on the tobacco industry. And that is this whole thing throughout the whole movie. And even at the end, we can see William H. Macy and Aaron Eckhart's characters finally get to go at it. It's a big duel and it's a duel of words. And Aaron Eckhart is obviously way more superior, but it's nice to see like William H. Macy like give his speech and be like, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? And he's trying to trap Aaron Eckhart. And Aaron Eckhart just won't let it happen. So like I said, we get to see Aaron Eckhart's deal with all these different characters. I mean, he is part of the tobacco industry. He's one of the worst kinds of people, right? But we get to see his interaction with his son, a sleazy reporter, his ex-wife, um, oh, William H. Macy, of course, the government, um, how he is with his boss, the tobacco industry. We just get to see so, so much. But either way, I really think this movie hit the nail right on the head. I think it didn't overplay its hand. I think it knew what it was and it did it very well. Yes, you're not supposed to like Aaron Eckhart's character, but you can't help it. He's very charismatic. And that's what I really liked about this movie. It's called Thank You for Smoking, but it doesn't make you want to go out and have a cigarette. I mean, you could go out and start smoking, but what's the point? That means you didn't pay attention to the movie. This movie's good. As I said before, definitely Aaron Eckhart's best role in my opinion. Um, I just really think that anybody can enjoy this movie if you enjoy a good satire and don't take it too serious and too literal and you see where this movie's actually coming from, you'll enjoy this movie. But with that, I really have nothing else. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I enjoyed this pick, Raymond. Thank you so much. I love Thank You for Smoking. It's one of my favorite movies. So if you like this video and you'd like to see any more of my other videos, I'll have three more that pop up on the bottom. Click on any one of them. They're usually a movie review. Sometimes I do vlogs and put them in there. 
But I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I can't wait to see what we do next time. See you guys later. Bye. This isn't a cigarette, by the way. It's a flavored cigar, I swear to God. Smoking is actually a dirty habit, kids. I was just joking there.